Sky's blue like the Atlantic and I'm going down like the Titanic. Hi, darling. Your breakfast is on the table, your lunch is in a bag, and your dinner is in the fridge. I'll be home late tonight again, but I'll do my best to be there this weekend. Pinky promise. And just call me if you need anything. Love you to bits, my angel. Mwah. Something wrong, Lila? Oh, no. I'm doing great. It's just that my mom wants me to go with her to this fancy embassy function tonight, but I've got way too much homework, and I'm so behind after being away for the first term. I'm just going to have to tell her no. She'll be so upset. Oh, yeah, bummer. Adrian said he'd help me, but I don't want to bother him with it. He's probably forgotten anyway. He might think I've got a crush on him, just like all those other girls who are constantly hanging all over him. Adrian's a great dude. I'm sure he won't mind. I can put in a good word for you if you want. Oh, you do that for me? Oh, thanks, Nino. You're the best. No sweat. Hey, Adrian. Hi, Nino. What's up? Hey, Lila, Nino told me about your problem. I can still help you with your schoolwork if you want. Really? You do that? You're such a great help. You're saving my life, you know. No problem, Lila. Happy to help. Marinette. <gasps> uh, I was so not spying on Lila. I was just tying my shoes. You've got nothing to worry about. Nino told me Lila said she definitely doesn't have the hots for Adrian. Why don't we go to your place to do our homework? It would be so much quieter, wouldn't it? My father would never agree to that. I bet you I could change his mind. <gasps> Marinette, wait! Mm. Uh. There's no way Adrian's bodyguard will let her in the car. <gasps> Seriously? Don't tell me you're gonna follow them. Of course not. I'm just gonna go to the swimming pool. <laughs> your bike. It's an emergency. I guess. Marinette, you should just trust Adrian. He knows Lila's a liar. I know, but if she keeps on lying like she does, she's gonna end up hurting someone. I refuse to let her hurt Adrian. What's the worst grade you've ever gotten? An A minus in math. Listen, Lila, you should forget about this. My father can be harsh with anyone he thinks is an intruder. <laughs> We're not doing anything wrong. Leave this to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Adrian, but you know your father. Excuse he does me, ma'am, but is there any way I could ask him directly, just in case? Mr. Agrest is busy designing and must not be disturbed for any reason. I told you so. Oh, Adrian, I so wanted to help you make up all the schoolwork you missed due to all the modeling you've been doing lately. Uh... What will your father think if he finds out about your lower grades, Adrian? Who will he blame? Adrian, have your grades gone down? He'd never tell you himself, but when I saw Adrian crying the other day because he only got an A minus, I just felt like I had to offer him my help. It would have taken half an hour. I understand. You're only doing what you think is best. I did what I could, Adrian. Good luck. If it's only half an hour... If you really insist, I'll do it. Seriously? How does she do that? <laughs> <laughs> See? You never know until you ask nicely. You didn't ask nicely. You lied, Lila. You told me yourself that your A- in math was your lowest grade, didn't you? Hey, miss, you can't climb on that. It's too dangerous. <gasps> Could I borrow your ladder, please? The guy I'm in love with is about to get scammed by a liar. No, firefighter's ladder is for real emergencies, not for spying on boys. Especially without a helmet. Ah, is this your mom? You look so much like her. I look a lot like my mom, too, you know. Isn't it just crazy how much you and I have in common? Oh. And the lion girl's really that scheming? You really care about this boy, huh? The screen.
girl in red is pretty. Who is she? That's Kagami. We take fencing classes together. She looks so nice. You'll have to introduce me to her sometime. Did you know I lived in Japan for a few years? Lila, didn't you want me to help you with your homework? <clears throat> there. Perfectly safe to climb. <gasps> there. Oh, thank you. Please don't tell me you're still a fan of that... that... Time's up, Adrian. Your father could come out of his office at any minute. I guess I won the bet. How about a little souvenir photo? Mm -hmm. Feel free to ask if you need any more help with your math. We agreed on no cell phone during practice, Kagami. You can check when you're done. I'm sorry, Mother. <laughs> Mr. Hebrew Akras, I am such an admirer of your fashion designs. This is the best day of my life. I know how busy you are, so I won't take up any more of your time. It's my fault, sir. I'm... In my office! Now! Uh, I could take a photo right now and post it online, but that would be too easy. Tiki Spot! Don't even think about it! Why are you so nice to that girl? She lies with every breath and snoops through your drawers as soon as your back's turned. You snoop through my drawers too, Plague. Yeah, but we both know I'm only looking for cheese, but she... Well, we have no idea what she's looking for. Perhaps she's just looking to be a little less lonely. Mm. One, two, three, four, five! What was that young girl doing in my house? I decided it would be good for her to help Adrian review his mathematics. I'm the only one who decides what's good for my son. This isn't the first time you've been fooled by his schoolmates. Do you want to take Adrian out of school? No, but I won't allow Adrian to be influenced by the company he keeps. On second thought, I think this photo is going to help me get that young girl in particular away from my son once and for all. Such a tornado of negative emotions surrounding such a meaningless photo. But the strongest anger isn't always necessarily the noisiest one. Fly, my evil Akuma, and unleash her anger! Lila Rossi, and make sure she never gets close to your loved one ever again. Adrian Agrest is way too innocent to be wary of her. Of course, she'll persuade Ladybug and Cat Noir to stop you from accomplishing your duty. You must therefore bring me their miraculous to punish them for their naivete. Yes, Hawkmoth. Adrian, I am Onichan. You and I were made for each other, Adrian. Kagami? I will protect you from anyone who tries to harm you. I'll protect you from Lila. She's not dangerous. She just craves attention. She doesn't deserve your attention. That's what she deserves is punishment. Kagami, no! <laughs> Can I transform now? Yes, Marinette. Tiki! With all these girlfriends chasing you, I guess it was only a matter of time before they ended up fighting each other. I don't have any girlfriend. What? Watch out!
need you to go anywhere near Adrian. <laughs> Give up on him and I will spare you. Adrian, I don't know anyone named Adrian. Don't lie to me. I'm really sorry, but I always get what I want. It's not my fault. Well, this time you're going to have to give in. Otherwise, you'll really get it, whether you want it or not. Don't you think you should ask the lucky guy what he thinks? <laughs> hey, I'm just trying to help. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need you, Ladybug. I was perfectly capable of defending myself. Guys, <laughs> that ugly horned girl doesn't stand a chance with Adrian. Oh, Are you really sure I don't stand a chance? There's no use running. Wherever you go, I'll find you. Not before we've captured your Akuma, anyway. <laughs> Please stop! Oh, officer! I'm being followed by a supervillain and Ladybug's failing miserably. You're the only one who can help me. Please protect me. Dad and I can protect you down at the precinct. The Akuma must be in her book in Catanoir. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much I can do about your forehead problem, though. What forehead problem? <gasps> what is this disgusting thing? What kind of a message is this? <laughs> oh. uh. What just happened? Where's my car? What happened to the young lady with the horn on her forehead? The one being chased by that super villain. Lila? Since when does she have a horn? Go ahead and run. As fast and as far away as you can, Lila Rossi. There! I feel like she's taunting us. She won't be laughing for long. You still think you can get away from me? Honey? Huh? <gasps> Ma, uh, Miss Dupan Chang. I was in the bakery when this teenager with a horn came running in. Lila. Oni-chan must be there already. Stay here. <laughs> all you need to do is give up on Adrian, and all of this will stop. <clears throat> Nobody attacks <laughs> customers of the Dupan Chang Bakery, and where is my wife? <laughs> Wait! Lila, are you okay? You're rushing to my rescue even after all those nasty things I said to you? I really misjudged you, Ladybug. You're the only one who can help me. I knew she'd wind up liking you in the end. Mm. What kind of message is this? Hey, not cool! The girls were just starting to get along! <laughs> Ladybug! <laughs> My wife answered the phone, and then poof, she disappeared. And then that villain showed up, and now you're here, and... Don't worry, your wife is in a police car, safe and sound. <laughs> the supervillain sends evil phone messages and swaps places with the person who looks at them. And Lila's horn acts as a kind of cell tower. That's how the villain always tracks her down. I know how to defeat her now, thanks to you. Oh? Give Adrian up! And let you get your monster paws on him? No way! Adrian, Adrian, Adrian. All the girls are fighting over him. No one's fighting over me. Yet I'm so much more sophisticated, funnier, and definitely better dressed than him. How dare you compare yourself to Adrian, you cursed cat! Adrian is perfection personified! He's the only one who's worthy of me! And the only one I will ever love! What? What are you smiling at? <laughs> Do you get it now? I'll hunt you down wherever you go. Just give up on Adrian, and I'll stop tracking your every move. All right, I'll give up on Adrian. 
You're an awesome actress, but you're lying. Your horn betrays you, see? It will only disappear once you've sincerely given up on Adrian. Then how could I possibly give Adrian up? I love him so much. It's too hard for me, honestly. You can't ask me to do that. The only thing that would persuade me to give him up would be if you got rid of Ladybug for me. Hmm. This Lila girl is astounding. Lila, you all right? If that's the only thing that will make you give him up, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Kenawar! If anyone receives a text message, you can't let them open it. That's how Oni-chan teleports herself. <laughs> oh, Kenawar! It hurts so much! I think I might have broken something. Milady, I have an emergency. I won't be long. Are you sure she's not pulling your leg? She wouldn't do that now. She really looks like she's in pain. <sighs> then I'm gonna need a helping hand here. Lucky charm! this girl to the nearest hospital, please? You've been hosed to Ladybug. Adrian will be mine now, forever! No! Yes! Take her, Miraculous! Back off! Well, this is what happens when you don't wear knee pads. No! Don't look at your phone! But what if it's an emergency? Her leg's an emergency! Mm. You sure it's not her forehead instead? Because her leg looks fine. You just wanted me to leave Ladybug alone with the villain? You hate Ladybug that much? Me? Of course not. Why would you say that? Is it because she's been left alone to fight Oni-chan all by herself? What you just did is really terrible. You should be ashamed of yourself. Answer your phone, Mr. Hessen P. No, don't do that. Yes, it's an emergency. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ladybug. Surprise, Oni-chan. <laughs> What am I doing here? And how did you get all tied up like that? These hoses are so strong, it once took us two full hours to get a kid untangled. Really? <gasps> Wait, I've got a plan. <laughs> 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 Yes, m'lady. It's the girl of my dreams. Sure, I'll bring her over to you right now. Hey! Go easy, my leg! Need a helping paw, m'lady. No, just a little phone call. Take her back home. Oh. Keep an eye on Lila. She's a sly as a fox. <laughs> Your leg looks better. Oh, being around you superheroes has toughened me up. It will be okay to go home by yourself then. You don't need me. <laughs> I think I was mistaken. I shouldn't chase that girl away. She could make a very good ally. Hey, Adrian, could you help me with my homework after school? What? You don't have Adrian under surveillance anymore? I trust him, Alia. Adrian could never love a girl like Lila, not in a million years. I'm sorry. I've got fencing. Besides, I think you're already light years ahead of me when it comes to calculus. Actually, I have memory loss after all this traveling I've done. I need to learn everything again from scratch. Natalie and my bodyguard got reprimanded last time because of you. I'm sorry, Adrian. Please, I didn't mean to. Lila, you can always count on me, but not if you hurt the people I love. Hello? Can 
Congratulations. You're at your best again, I see. I'm only trying to be worthy of you. Thank you for inviting me here, Mr. Agrest. You got into my house without my authorization by lying and manipulating my son. I only meant well. Adrian needed to talk. You do such a good job of shielding him from bad influences that he actually feels very alone. Mm-hmm. You're opening my eyes to a problem I didn't even know existed. What would you do in my position? I think he needs a friend his age. Someone who understands him, who can protect him from negative influences. Someone you can trust, too. You and I think the same way. See you again very soon, Lila. See you soon, Mr. Agrest.